Hello and welcome back to school night. Uh, we're not together, but boy, it's just just the opportunity to say hello to my family is, is an amazing thing. Hello and welcome to back to school night. I'm Miss Washington. I'm one of the life skills teacher here at North High School, and I'm just going to kind of give you a little taste of how our day is, what our day is like. This is where it all begins, ladies and gentlemen, John Wesley North High School, where your kids belong and come to every day. I'm just going to take you to, I want you to come with me as we walk through the halls and take a virtual trip through, um, take a virtual trip to North where everything begins. This is the limousine service, our yellow bus. It allow, it drops your kids off in the morning in the arms of our uh, aid staff. Some of them will go off into breakfast who are who haven't eaten yet. The others, they make their way to my class. Room 706, I'm in the 700 building, just um, at the uh, along the par parking lot. Uh, my class faces the parking lot actually, can't miss it. But let's talk about what a typical week looks like. Our days are pretty much divided into odds and evens. Your kids have three classes every single day. And um, Mondays and Thursdays, they have classes, class periods that end in the odd number. So typically they, on Mondays and Thursday, they'll have first, third, fifth, or seventh. Seventh period, they don't have to worry about, but definitely um, fifth period would be their last class. And on Tuesdays and Fridays, They'll have the even numbers, the zero, two, four periods, zero, two, four, and six. And I didn't forget Wednesday. It's a little unique to itself because it's a little special. Wednesdays is a short are short days, and it has um, each class is only twenty minutes long. So if your kids are coming home sooner that on that day, is because class is over. Um, classes are only twenty minutes. They're very very short, and but they do have lunch. And they do have their breaks, their 10 minute breaks for hours. So even though it's short, um, it's powerful packed. So they do have Monday and Thursday, their odd days, um, Tuesdays and Fridays, even days. And on Wednesdays, every class, they, they will visit every class, um, but each one is only 20 minutes. And so the life skills tour begins. We teach, I teach, uh, I'm a life skills teacher. I serve kids with special needs. Just a little taste, give you some idea of some fun things that could be happening in the classroom. This is typically something what it would look like before the bell rings and before we we get busy and down to work. Um, the aides sitting there, kids talking to one another, and I may be uh, attending something, but nonetheless, uh, we're about ready to begin. There are five core areas in our in my uh, instruction, and the first area is functional academics. And in that, we're looking at um, reading. We have reading every single day, Monday through Friday. Mondays, we roll out the new chapter and the new material, new vocabulary. And we uh, we work on that and we work on writing. And on Fridays, they have their tests to see what they learned. On um, Friday, to see what they learned. We also teach our second area of emphasis in our life skills program is developing life, is, uh, social skills. They learn communication skills about how to make a compliment and how to um, to speak with the right voice, how to interact, how to be friendly, how to greet, different ways that would allow them a tool to interact, make friends, and for them to be appropriate, whether they're in the home or outside in the community or downtown, just enjoying themselves shopping and may need some help sometimes. Another area that we focus on is community. Once a week, they're usually on the bus pre-COVID, of course. They're on the bus downtown or different places in the community, whether it's a park, the, um, in a, a retail establishment like a store, in a restaurant, in a fast food place. So there are different places that we take them in the community so they can learn to apply their money skills and learn to make decisions and learn to interact in the, in the real world. Hopefully, every, the idea is that everything that we learn in the classroom, that we translate it in and outside the classroom, they can apply what they learned and um, grow up and uh, be very productive citizens. 
Math is another area that we cover um, through the week. We look at budgeting skills. That's a big deal. The kids are learning uh, what goods and services are, um, what needs and wants are, and um, how do they know if they have enough? If they and they have to make decisions on whether they can purchase anything. So budgeting skills is a big deal. And coupled with that are money skills. They learn the names of the coins, what they look like, what are the values, how to add them, and, and of course, the denominations on the dollar bill. So toward the latter part of the week, the kids are learning about, um, depending on their groups, they're learning about multiplication, um, basic addition, subtraction, because basic addition and subtraction will help them keep a really tight budget. And time and measurement, of course. Math is always on the forefront. They will have use money for the rest of their lives. So math is fourth period, but right after math, they go right into lunch and it's like, yes, a release time. The kids can reconnect. They make their own food choices. They reconnect, they sit outside and enjoy their friends. They can participate in any student, um, uh, student special event or activity that's hosted out there on the in the quad and they can just just enjoy good food or just listen along with the music and again or make new friends so lunch is a release time for the kids certainly that they one um, get to enjoy what they choose to eat and to learn to learn to make new friends or connect with the ones that are their favorites right after lunch they're not done um, vocational ed we teach Monday through Friday, and there's like three different areas of vocational ed. We teach, in, we introduce entry level job skills. Like for we, one thing that we do in the cafeteria is that we out just outside the tables we introduce um, entry level restaurant skills. The kids bust the tables outside um, in front of the cafeteria. They also are some of them are learning to use the industrial room to maintain the area in front of the count the food counters. And of course, we help the uh, cafeteria staff um, recycle their cardboard boxes um, week, um, weekly when we're there. The other thing that we do is when we leave the cafeteria, we come back in the class and there's some maintenance things that we do, the tables, counters, desks, chairs, things like that, um, in hopes that those kinds of tasks, being able to clean a counter and desks, different kinds of surface areas, would translate into the home and they'll be able to get that bathroom cleaned up or get their dust off those shelves and be able to organize things and, and put papers in the right box and maintain a nice, healthy, clean environment for the, in their rooms or some play, or different chores within the home so it can translate for them to be ultimately productive and organized and, and um, maintain uh, their space in their living spaces, a really clean living space. And the third thing, we, the third part of Oak Ed is we have career class. We Every other week we have a career specialist who comes in and they, we do surveys and interest inventories so just to explore some of the things that kids might be interested in. They're looking at jobs or things that, that that they could really be happy doing. So in those, in and during that career time, we're looking for ways for them to to explore different careers so they can look forward to a job that they really want to do. After all, if you're going to work, you may as well enjoy what you're doing, right? Well, that's what career exp career exploration is all about. We can't do school without PE, right? Well, we have an adaptive PE specialist who Monday through Friday work with your kids. They are, she is keeping them in shape and the program allows them to run a mile on the track to stretch and, and do rhythm exercises and to have fun with their friends too as well. They do dress and they take care of their own belongings and um, they compete. They're in tournaments at, at the School for the Deaf on Arlington Avenue, um, softball, softball, um, volleyball, basketball. They even um, get to go to uh, holiday dances. Outside of those five areas that we talked about, math and reading, community, social skills, and voc ed, we sprinkle in some electives and we have some fun with those too. We're learning about social skills, so we're learning learning about other communities across America, different communities right here in California, and um, things, social issues that are impacting us as a as a as a society. So we we look forward to social studies once a week. Also sprinkled in as an elective. Over and above the five core areas, we have science. 
what a great way to explain what COVID does and what it is and, and why hand washing is so important. So um, science allows us to do that. And we explore all chemistry and biology, conservation, so many wonderful principles that make our, our uh, water, um, so many things that make our world run can um, be explored and experienced through science. The last um, extra uh, elective class that we teach once a week is nutrition and cooking. They're not burning anything down and we do use microwave ovens um, and they don't, so they don't get the hot open fire. I just to, to reassure you, they're not burning anything down and they're not gonna try anything like that at home, but they may try to uh, practice on that microwave. So we, we study different um, food groups and each with each month, there are lessons that go along with that. And we prepare menus and uh, assignments for them to prepare meals in those um, different lessons for those different um, food areas. So if they come home and want to try a recipe out, that's because probably they tried it in cooking class. So um, look forward to sometime them wanting to want, wanting to cook in the in your kitchen. Hmm. During lunchtime, um, every Monday, our kids are involved in a, a nationally known club. It's called Best Buddies. It was founded by the Shrivers and the Kennedys way back, way back when. The main goal of Best Buddies is to just to um, connect general ed kids with kids with special needs so they can create lifelong friendships. We look forward to that. Um, the kids that are in our student body, our governing body, our board, they're creating amazing activities and opportunities, different things that kids can do so, to reconnect and to stay connected to their body. So um, we look forward to that. The club runs every single Monday. It's been, I've been the advisor for Best Buddies for the last, since 2009. So you do the math. Well, you, as you already know, there's no way that I can by myself um, have a, a special needs class without some instructional support. So I really want to let you understand and know how amazing um, and how lucky I am to have two amazing support staff who enjoy being in a, in a special needs classroom, who enjoy working with your special needs children, and who have the patience and are in school right now to be teachers in with, working with special needs. Mrs. Barty and Mr. Brian Inyard, um, they're amazing, and I really, really, <clears throat> I entrust them with the assignments and the lessons and the instructions that I give to them, that they they carry them out to the full letter of my details and that um, they work in small group and, and do amazing things. And uh, as I rotate through my classes, through my groups and my classes, um, I'm just reassured and very, very lucky about how well they do, how much they do, and how much they thoroughly enjoy working with your kids. So let's kind of do a recap, right? Weekly, overall, the kids are, are, are taking classes, are involved in reading every single day. They have math every single week. Um, they have community, they, they, they learn about communities, not only here in Riverside, but across America and in parts of the world too. They have um, voc ed class, PE. They have some sprinkled in electives we we're talking about. Um, for science, nutrition, and social studies. So uh, there are, we try to keep it saucy like that, right? So we're, and they have lunch, of course, every day. And and we have a short Wednesday. So Wednesday's at, but one class in the middle of the week that it's only 20 minutes long, short day. It, it allows you to spend some time uh, during the week with your kids, checking in with them, seeing if they're okay. So it, again, we have odd days and even days and a short Wednesday. So I hope you enjoyed all this, guys. Uh, we have a long year to go and a lots to learn. And each and every day, we're just getting better and better and better and better. Stay well, be healthy. Thank you again for tuning in and taking time out for back to school night. We thank you. We applaud you. And we really appreciate you. Thank you again. Have a good evening. This is Miss Washington, and I'm signing off.